Hi, thanks for joining us for Hope With Answers. My name is Lisa Bonanno and I'm a patient advocate and excited to get some amazing information today with Dr. David Carbone. It's great to be here. And today, now we already have a little bit of information and understand what ROS1 positive cancer is, but what is the best way to treat it? So ROS1 is a gene that's turned on the cancer and it acts like a stuck gas pedal in the mm -hmm. cancer and really driving that cancer to be a cancer. And Scientists through research have found specific drugs that can go in and block that gene and turn that, take that brick off the gas pedal and turn that gene off and have very high response rates and um, excellent duration of response uh, with these drugs, which are typically oral um, agents and they're developing new ones all the time. That's fantastic. Um, I know it's definitely come a long way since I've been diagnosed. And we hear a lot about immunotherapies and we know it has had some successes in lung cancer. Is that something that might be effective to treat ROS1? Well, the development of immunotherapy for lung cancer has revolutionized the treatment of lung cancer, but we have learned that not everybody benefits from immunotherapy and specifically tumors that have certain driver mutations like ROS1 seem to have much less probability of benefit from immunotherapy. It's probably not zero, mm -hmm. and it might be an option for patients after uh, other options have been exhausted. But it's very clear that if, if you are told you have a ROS1 positive tumor, that you should start with the ROS1 targeted therapies first, and eat maybe second and third, depending upon new generations of drugs. Right. Well, thank you so much for explaining that so well to us. And we thank you for joining us today on Hope With Answers.